Hi, in this video you will learn how to use converters in Xamarin Forms. Remember the video from the last uh, demo where here we created the task model which shows the title and the duration of a task and when I click the save task it will show me uh, a message telling your task was saved displaying um, the title and the duration of the task also the same thing for the Android application so now to use we, will, we want to use the converter in order uh, to change the text color of this message so for example if I am displaying uh, UI if, uh, the, if the title contains the word uh, UI then I want this message to be um, um, to be colored in, in, in red for example so let's start implementing the converter so the first thing to do is to go to your uh, portable project right click then add a new folder and let's call it converters Default converters will con contain all our uh, converters. Let's start by creating the first converter. So the converter is uh, is a class. Let's call it text to um, to color converter. And this is uh, a convention. In your conver converter, you tell it um, the name uh, to convert the type you convert to and the, uh, the type you convert from, so that you can uh, understand um, its functionality from its name. Let's click Add. So now we have created our text to color converter. This class should be public and what makes it a converter is that it implements the iValue converter uh, interface the iValue converter interface has two methods the convert and convert back so for the convert here where you want to change the color of your uh, of your text so the first of all here you see that the convert contains some parameters the first one is the value and what the value is the value is the parameter that will be uh, given to your converter so that you can make your choice about um, uh, what va what value uh, to uh, to return back. So here my value will be of type um, string for me for that um, equal value to string. So remember for my example for my example here I want to give it uh, a text. And depending on the on the um, on a special uh, string inside that text, I want to change its uh, color. For that, I get the text first of all. Then I verify if that text contains, um, for example, let's say. Uh, contains UI for example if it contains the string UI then I want to return a color you see here the convert um, returns an object so whatever you type here will be accepted so the turn I'll choose for example um, let's say this color And if my text doesn't contain that value, then the default value will be 
another uh, color of type for example um, white so here what this converter does it will get the value we can we we'll convert it to a string verify if that uh, string contains a UI value inside of it if that's true it will return this color Foxia color else it will return the white uh, color and here we should not uh, forget about um, passing these parameters uh, you should verify if value is uh, not uh, null so if value is not null I want to do all um, this uh, this code and here uh, if value is null or not uh, if value equal null then it will return uh, the white color okay so this is the step one which is creating the converter we call it it here text to color converter it implements the interface a value converter and it returns a value here in my case it's a color it could be anything of type uh, object of course depending on uh, the feature you are implementing now let's go to the step number two which is to use this converter so I come back here to the to my home page here and to use the converter I should tell uh, my application in which uh, system it's used so it's like uh, declaring the, the using for that I type xmlns the XML namespace then give it a name converters for example and here I should give it um, the assembly and the namespace and the distance here helps me so it's inside Xamarin Forms demo uh, remember here my um, my converter is inside Xamarin Forms dot converters namespace okay for that here, Xamarin Forms dot demo dot converters, and the assembly is Xamarin Forms demo, the, the same name as used uh, as displayed by my portable uh, project here, Xamarin Forms demo. So now I have created that uh, the declared the namespace. Now I should define a static. Um, a static uh, variable uh, of that converter for that I'll go to my content content page dot resources and declare a resource dictionary and remember we have done this with um, with styles so in, inside the resource dictionary I'll use my converters so I type here converter now I type two the, two, uh, the dot then I get here text to color uh, converter so I use that the two points in, inside uh, XAML uh, code is like the point inside uh, C sharp so it gives you the objects or the namespace inside this uh, the converters namespace in my case it's text to color uh, converter the converter I have created this converter now in order to use it and as it's a, a static resource I should give it a key for that I type x two point key then give it a name let's say it could be the same as its type so text to, uh, to color converter now I want to use it inside my uh, label so here for my label I want to change its text color how I want to do that I type binding then 
I type the converter here you see converter equal then I open the two bracket then here I type static resource and here I get the name of my uh, of my converter which is text to color uh, converter let's type that now you see that when we implement the text to color converter it takes an object the value uh, parameter here how the value parameter will be passed to this uh, convert method is through the binding here so i should uh, the parameter here i want to use is the message property the same as this one so what this syntax tells it tells um, to go to create another a new instance of the text to color uh, converter and then pass it a parameter which is the message remember the message that will be um, displayed when clicking the save button so and that entire message will be um, given as parameter to the text to color converter and the convert method will return values those values are colors for that here uh, these colors will be uh, replaced um, to this uh, property text color so let's try it in action let's run our application verifying about the UI um, thing so here it contains UI so I type the button then the displayed uh, takes it the same but in another color which I have chosen now let's change this UI for example to be UX for example now let's change also here um, it's not displaying anything so let's try it so that now it's n my text doesn't contain UI, so it should be displayed in white. Let's say task, and here it is in white. Now my uh, my title here is doesn't contain UI word, so save task. Then it's uh, back again in uh, in white. UI, so it, it's now um, displayed in uh, Foxy color. So thank you.